feeling okay? Well, I have uh, I have to spend next 15 years in prison. Do I feel okay? You, you should uh, you should answer yourself. My name is Denis Smetsavas, and uh, for the last 20 years I was the officer in Estonian Defence Forces. For so many years, two persons were inside of me. The Soviet Union uh, collapsed. Independence came to Estonia. The Baltic peoples of Estonia have declared their independence and are moving now to control their own national territories and their own destinies. I grew up in Russian enclave here in Estonia. My mother is Russian, my father is Russian, and I knew nothing about Estonia. I didn't know the words of Estonian uh, anthem. I wanted to be part of the society. So for me, uh, joining the military service was a uh, very huge step. I got integrated into Estonian society. I cannot say that uh, I became an Estonian because you, you cannot be become but you can, you can fall in love. Денис Месовас был, конечно же, символом интеграции русского населения в эстонское общество. Карьера Месовса показала, что, чего может добиться русский, который хочет учить эстонский и может это сделать. Хороший офицер, грамотный, который выступал на телевидении и на эстонском радио, было очень высокое доверие к этому человеку. Поговорим об этом подробнее и подведем итоги вместе с гостем нашей студии офицер главного штаба сил обороны Эстонии майор Денис Мецавас. Денис Мецавас. Денис Мецавас. Денисом Мецавасом. Денис Мецавас. Русхиров. There was an incident. I went to see relatives in Russia. We went to discotheque Friday night. I spent the time with the with the with one girl there. She was happy, I was happy. The next morning uh, I woke up and I had to go to, to the downtown. When I stepped out of the house, a couple of guys approached me, showed their ID. They accused me that I was, uh, that I rape, raped, uh, raped the girl. There is a document which is signed by her. They, uh, they had a camera with a display. They showed me a couple of uh, very short clip I said to uh, them that I didn't do that. I didn't do anything bad or wrong. They actually agreed. They asked me, would you in the future cooperate with us? We have everything against you, but we can help you out with that. What, what would you prefer? There was a bomb in my head exploding. I can get uh, 10 to 15 years of prison in Russia. They can ruin my life. I agree with everything they want. They let me out.
when I came, came back to Estonia after that, whole year passed. I really hoped that, okay, no one here in Estonia, and uh, it's just, just gone. I got approached by the person. Hey, how are you, Dennis? Yeah, I am. Do you remember? He arranged the meeting. They uh, told me they're glad to see, see me there. I don't have to worry anything about uh, that rape stuff. They really showed uh, the initiative to help me. I told them a little information and I got a little money for that, so it's, it's not a big deal. So, are we done? And then they answered, then, no, they are very interested in my information and uh, they would like to continue cooperation. Denis Metsava's unfortunate career in spying uh, started in uh, 2007 when he was recruited by uh, Russian military intelligence service uh, called GRU, GERU. They try to recruit people when they are physically on Russian soil creating situation where he would feel that he was in trouble and the only one that could help him was a Russian uh, intelligence service. Dennis passed on details about the Estonian international cooperation. We are talking about treason. Russia is one of the few countries who sees its neighbors as their enemies. Russian claims bombing Georgian targets this morning. It is the fourth day of battling over Georgia's disputed province of South Ossetia. Putin rules in Crimea now. His army controls the roads, borders and military bases. Estonians started to worry that they may be next. It happened in Ukraine, it happened in Georgia, why not here? На мой взгляд, это это всё как бы часть одной картины, да, то есть мы понимаем, что это попытки влиять на выборы в США, в Соединённых Штатах Америки. это агрессия против Украины, что угроза России это не просто слова, а это есть настоящее действие. I never believed uh, that uh, Denis Metsa was uh, a spy. It wasn't possible for me. Denis, ну тут вопрос к вам. А сейчас uh, какие-то тесты на лояльность uh, новобранцы проходят? Mm, новобранцы проходят очень много тестов, но не на лояльность. Не на лояльность. Нет. For so many years two persons were inside of me. I married a very beautiful wife. <laughs> the child came also, you know, fastly. I started to live a normal person's life. I was happy in every dimension. Life is perfect. I told them that I would like to cancel the cooperation. They were very professional by keeping me on hook. When I was promoted to general headquarters and I started to send them good information uh, and become more uh, valuable, I think they were starting to look for additional means 
to uh, to keep me in. We have talked to your father. Your father is okay to cooperate with us, and uh, he's a uh, He's an old guy, he also needs some additional money. You understand that it is not only you anymore. They got me on this second hook. Since 2014, Metsavas's father was used more or less as a courier to deliver the secret uh, material physically from Estonia to Russia. Somehow I was ready for being arrested because I thought about it like thousands of times. It was a very strange morning actually. I've never seen that tight fog before. You can cannot see your hand. That day was a big day. My son went to the new kindergarten for the first time. And um, uh, we had a really a lot of plans. When I was kind of 200 meters away from uh, kindergarten, I got stopped and arrested. And that's how the new period in my life started. Esmas peal pidas kaitse politsei riigi reetmises kahtlustatavana kinni kaks meest 1980. aastal sündinud Tenis Metsavase ja tema isa 1953. aastal sündinud Piotr Boolini. Selle reetmise tulemusena julgeolekud ja riigaitsed oluliselt kajustatud nii rahvusliku, riikliku kui ka rahvusvahelise teabe üleandmisega me Vene, Vene Federatsioonile. The court decision is uh, 15 years and 6 months. As I already spent uh, 6 months and uh, two days in prison already, uh, investigation time. So I, now I have uh, 14 years and 363 days. Where are your wife and kids during all of this? Uh, they are at home. Do you worry that you're disappointed then? Well, uh, uh, disappointment will be a very gentle word for that. I uh, there is a a small guy uh who is growing day after day. And um, if we're talking about the 3rd September of 2018, when I got arrested, he, he managed to put together two, three words. 15 years later, and the guy is graduating high school. Yeah, that's it. Next question, please. <laughs> I cannot blame Russia. They were lucky because of my personality. I still was the good uh, officer, good citizen. But of course, I understood uh, very clearly what I'm doing. It is still hard part to explain to myself, even. Why, why? I don't know why. 